Hello, I'm Maya Jama, and I am about to interview Joel Kinnaman and Abby Cornish for the new Robocop film. First off, amazing film, brilliant, loved Thank it. You. you were really, really good in it. Thank How you. was the obvious question wearing this massive metal suit? Um, it was, it was quite a. Uh... It was quite uncomfortable at first, and uh, you know it took a while to get used to. But after a while, then it, it you know, it became a a good way for me to to find the the character and some of the mm -hmm. the feelings that he was going through. Yeah, because he's quite a like roughish, not a bad guy, but he's quite tough, strong-minded. Are you anything like your character? Um, I mean, I think you. Are, I always lend a couple of my traits to to the character, but. Um, I don't know, maybe in some situations. Somehow, he's overriding the system's priorities. The human element will always be present. Compassion, fear, instinct, they will always interfere with the system. And what was your favorite part of the film then to actually film? Because there's a lot of special effects and you're running around in this massive suit. What did you enjoy the most about the film? Well, for me, the, the, the dramatic scenes are always what, what I enjoy the most. And, uh, you know, I, so I think the, the, the all the, the this, the string of scenes where you know I wake up as Robocop and then w when I come back and, and it gets revealed what's left of me, yeah. those were the most difficult scenes in the film. Those were also the scenes that I was auditioning. Okay. Um, and you know, and I was playing opposite Gary Oldman, which was okay. Amazing. Oh, how was it okay? You can't say that. He's a legend. <laughs> yeah. No. It was. Uh, it was one of the greatest experiences of my life to get to play with him. And uh, so th those scenes were were the most fun. And I'm going to ask you, if you could make a robot yourself that wasn't a cop, so he couldn't save the world, your own, your own robot, what traits would it have? What would you put inside of it to make it do stuff? Um, I don't know. You have no idea. So mine would know. be a cooking and cleaning robot, so I wouldn't have to. <laughs> that sounds Anything? good. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take that one. You're going to copy yeah. mine? Yeah. All right. Very original, John. Yeah. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Good luck with this. Detective Alex Murphy, an officer down. We are on the eve of a technological revolution. Okay, so first of all, congratulations. Thank Massive you so much. film. It was wicked. How was it being on set with a half a man, half robot? Because that must have been crazy to see a man with all this like metal on him and that. Did you feel weird almost? Or? I felt the first time I saw him, there was an intimidation because yeah. he's he it at also Joel's tall. Mm. But it added another six inches on him. So massive. Yeah, and just the shape and the size, and it was sort of, um, it's an intimidating suit. Mm -hmm. But I was really surprised how fast that disappeared. And then I just, because when you're acting, you're looking in someone's eyes and you're yeah. communicating in other ways. And so it sort of just disappeared. Yeah. And obviously, being an on screen couple, you have to build the chemistry beforehand. And I'm going to have to ask, it must be kind of strange almost. What do you do? Do you go out to Nando's or for drinks to you get. You know, we didn't actually really hang out much. Yeah. We, um, apart from rehearsals, um, we, uh, you know, Joel had a lot to do as mm -hmm. Robocop in regards to the suit and developing physicality of his character and he's pretty much in nearly every single scene of the movie. Mm -hmm. I had a smaller role in the movie so I sort of came in and my rehearsal period was very specific but what we did in rehearsals was work on the family dynamic and yeah. work on getting to know and understand Jean-Paul Rutan because this kid is a kid that's really talented and he's a real actor. He's a mm -hmm. kid but he's he's a real deal. Yeah. Well thank you for speaking to me, I haven't got no much worries. time. Uh, yes. Last question. Okay. I know it's a bit strange. Could you do a robot impression for me? Dead or alive, you're coming with me.